G'day everyone. If there's something that I love to do, that is explore. And trout fishing allows me to explore lots of different places. Today I'm exploring once again. And I'm going into this little creek that I've never fished before. I've been eyeing off this valley for a long time, but I've never quite known how to get into it. But now I found my way into this magnificent little place and I'm gonna go exploring this little creek and see if I can find any trout. Now, before I go fishing, there's something I need to be clear on. You see this shirt? I've actually got two of these shirts. I've got two identical shirts. I'm a bit worried that I might look like I wear the same shirt in every video. In fact, recently in a video, I put a blue shirt on to film the introduction and then got changed again, just so that it looks like I get changed occasionally. <laughs> but I promise folks, I have got two of these shirts. It may look like I never get changed, but I've got two of these shirts and I promise I do get changed. Usually every Thursday. As expected, the water is very, very clear and very cold. Ideal conditions for trout. I think that right off the bat, this hole just here, the very first hole should tell me whether there's any trout in here or not. Because that is a glorious looking pool. No follows. There has to be trout in here. Have a look at that for a stream. That is magnificent trout water. Glorious trout water. I've got a funny feeling this stream might be a bit steep, so it could be very, uh, it could become quite fast with not a lot of pools, as a concern. The fact that I didn't see any trout in that pool was a bit of a concern as well because it's just got trout written all over it. Magnificent water. I'm starting off with a strike tiger nymph with the claws on. I might actually rip the claws off just to make it a little bit smaller and more streamlined. Being a smaller creek, I just might make the, the lure look a bit smaller. I don't know why, just something inside of me telling me and I need to take the claws off. That's glorious looking trout water, beautiful looking trout water. Now being that I've never fished this spot before, I've got no way of knowing whether this stream dried up last summer or it could dry up every summer for all I know. It's all trial and error. But I've fished two really nice pools now and I haven't seen a fish yet, so that is a concern. But I guess that's why I like exploring because you never really know what you're going to find. Here's a nice deep hole. Surely there's got to be something in there that's deep. Got him! Yes! There was one in there! Ha ha! You beauty! You'll notice I fished that from well back and that's because the water is so clear. Here's a lovely rainbow. Now I could lose this fish I'll let my hand in there, so I'm going to lift him over this log. I might be able to go over here and land him. Here's a ripper. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. You beauty. Yes. I have just found myself another stream where I can go fishing for wild trout. And how have I found it? By exploring. There we go, caught on the strike tiger nymph. It's amazing how often these nymphs just pin the trout on the top of the mouth, allowing for a real quick, real easy release like that. So often they just pin them in the top of the mouth. And that's awesome. You little beauty. On the board. On the board in a new creek. That's exciting. That is reward for doing the footwork. I'm happy. I'm a happy man. It's always very exciting when you find a new place for yourself. That may be the only trout in the creek. It's not. Here comes another one. Oh, I missed him. Because that may be another, the only trout in the creek, but it's not. The very next pool I fished, I found another one. Oh, shit. I stuffed the car, stopped landing on his head, but he's coming after it anyway. 
He's hit it twice, I doubt whether he'll come back. Rainbow trout aren't as smart as browns, and quite often they'll come back and, and hit it in, again after they've been hit, after they've been hooked. Gee, that's a nice bit of water. Gee, this is a nice creek. Gee, I'm in a good mood. When you ask people, where's a good spot, where's this, where's that, you might be able to go and catch fish if people, if people do tell you their spots, but you will never ever experience the thrill of finding a new spot that you've never fished before all by yourself and then catching fish in it. That takes your little of, level of personal satisfaction to the next level. Tight little spot. Oh, I've got to follow. Here he comes. Look, look. Wow. Three fish in three holes. What a great sign. Now, he never touched the lure, but the water is super clean, super clear. So he may have seen me. Now he's come back another, another go. He got him. Yes. <laughs> you ripper. Another lovely little rainbow. Look at him wiggle. Look at this. Didn't I just say a minute ago they nearly always get caught on the top of the lip? He's in the side of the lip. Once again though, his mouth hooked. And that's one of the things that I love about using these stri tie nymphs. The release, the survival rate of released fish is always really, really good. Righto buddy, another lovely little rainbow trout from this tiny little stream. Hang on mate, it's almost out. Just stop wiggling, you'd be back in the water by now. See ya mate. He was eager to go. I've got my nymph and I've pulled the claws off. I was gonna say I've pulled the front claws off, but there's only one set of claws. <laughs> As opposed to the back claws. Look at that. The nymph, the clawless black and gold nymph in a, a new stream. I am so excited. You ripper. God I love this. This this just this just keeps me going. This is the sort of thing that I live for. Adventure. I don't live to catch the biggest fish, I just live for the adventure. The adventures that fishing takes me on. Here comes one, I've got to follow, I've got to follow, where is he? Here he is. I don't know where he went. He followed it down out of the shallow water. Oh, it's the spooked one. There he goes up into the next pool. I can actually see a trout. He's a long way away. I don't even, I'm a bit worried that if I cast my nymph from way back here, that I land on top of him because I'm running a bit low on line and I've only got a really small jig head. But I'm also worried that if I walk too close, I will spook him. Yes, look. And there is the trout that I was looking at from way back there. That bit of bark. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. <laughs> I'd love to find a big, deep, rocky hole around right the next bend. Here comes a little fish. First one I've seen for a while. Right, now that's it from me. This trip was never intended to be a full day session or anything. It was just a little test run, dipping my fingers in the water just to see whether the creek's any good. I fished for one hour and what I found, at the start there was no fish. And then I had a red hot bite. I caught two, lost a couple, had a few other follows. And then the last half an hour I've only seen one little one. So the creek has a lot of potential. There are fish in it and I'll be back here to explore it further one day. Thanks very much for watching. If you've liked this video, why not consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.